Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing a fun bronzy eye tutorial with you, and I'm just gonna be sharing what I'm using on my face, what it's on my lips, on my eyes, and just kind of walk you through it. I figured I would do like a chatty kind of video. I usually don't do it like this, um, so it's just something different. So let me know how you like it. I'm interested to see if you enjoy it. I definitely enjoy getting to talk more. I talk way too much, as you can tell. So let me know if you like this video or not. If this is your first video that you've watched from my channel, thank you so much for watching. My name is Morgan. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. I make lifestyle videos, luxury videos, vlogs, beauty videos, just everything. Um, so I really hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do, please subscribe. I'll link my blog and all my social media channels down below so that way you can follow me. Instagram is my favorite. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the look. Okay, so I have already applied my foundation. This camera that I use gives my skin like this beautiful, like flawless finish, but that is really not the case. I just, I need to change the setting, but I like the way it looks, but my skin is not this flawless. Um, however, I'm really hoping to have some skincare updates soon. I think I have found a product that might be working, but I really don't wanna tell you that and jinx myself, so I'm not going to. But I have already applied my foundation and concealer, but that's it. Um, I did wanna quickly, mention that I have really been loving this. It's just a treatment, or not a treatment size, it's just a sample size. Um, but my mom loves Lemur skincare. I have tried it myself, um, but I really, really love this. This is the Lemur The Perfecting Treatment, so it's really tiny. It's just a sample size, but I have really been loving this. It smells nice. It has a pink color to it. So I think basically you can use this, it's a treatment so it's not a moisturizer. How I use it is after I apply my moisturizer and everything that I want on my skin. I kind of use it as a primer before applying my foundation and I really like it. It makes my skin very smooth and it's not irritating and I have been loving that. So I just wanted to quickly mention that because I have already applied that. I'm going to go ahead and pop on my Lemur lip balm. This isn't like a Lemur, those are the only products I have. <laughs> so. I will say though, if you're interested in trying the line, uh, I am so in love with this. Let's see if it, it's dirty. So I am so in love with their lip balm. It is truly just, it's really amazing. I've heard people question that there's something in it kind of like that gives you a tingling feeling. For me, I don't have that. My skin is sensitive. My lips aren't eh, so much, but um, that is incredible. I love it. My my lips are my lips, so there's really not anything fun about that. I really love the Lemur lip balm. It's just really great. I had like lost it for a couple of days and my lips were destroyed. It was freezing outside and my lips were just like, ugh. And I put on the lip balm. Literally the next morning, my lips were like a baby's butt. Um, my lips were so soft, so that's that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the eye tutorial. I figured it would be fun to just do like a chatty get ready with me. I went ahead and applied my makeup because I've already been talking for three minutes and I just, I am so chatty. So I figured having an eye tutorial, I would kind of cut down my chattiness. Um, but I applied my Estee Lauder foundation, the double wear and my NARS concealer. I'm gonna use that again. I'll leave everything linked down below if you need to do that, like find it or anything. So to start out, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply my NARS Pro Prime Eyeshadow Primer. I always have the tendency to be like, anytime I'm working on my eyes, so if I do that, please just ignore that. <laughs> okay, so I like to pop a little bit of this on my eyes. Only a little bit, I love this, it's really great. I've used other eyeshadow primers, but um, I really like this one and it seems to last a really long time. If you see me reaching over here, it's because I have like a whole camping chair pile full of makeup and that's what I'm working with. All right, so to start out, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this, let's see if I can pop this out. I'm trying to use up some of my old things and lately I've been really loving like a lot of products I used to use. So I'm pretty sure this is Soft Brown by MAC. We're gonna wing it. I've been doing this look in other forms but we're just gonna try some new products. I really need to clean my makeup brushes, so just ignore that. So I think this is a MAC 217 brush. It's just, just like a crease brush, and what I'm gonna do before I apply the bronzy shades, I'm just gonna kinda contour my crease just a little bit to give my eye a little shape. I love this soft brown color. It's, it's matte, there's no shimmer, and it's really pretty, and it's a great way to like shape your crease. 
and it just provides a natural kind of contour to the eye without a lot a lot of color it definitely has some color you can tell but it's very natural in comparison to other shades so I really like this but if you don't have something like this just take oh sorry take your bronzer and put it in the crease and it just looks really great so that's what we're gonna do just to kind of shape our eyes and give kind of set a boundary for where, how high we want to take the shimmery shades so the main focus of this look is this cream shadow I've, i think i've used this in tutorials before i've definitely talked about it this is incredible it's a luxury good but it's one that you're gonna love i promise um so this is the tom ford cream color for eyes in zero one platinum it's definitely not platinum to me this is like bronzy like central but I think that this is the only color they make. I'm not sure. I need to do some investigating, but I really want to say this is the only color they make. It is beautiful. I love it so much. So I'm just, by itself, it's perfect. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and like give you kind of a full eye look. But a lot of times, most of the time when I wear this, I'll just define my crease a little bit or I'll just throw this on. This is so perfect for the beach. It is just, ugh. I was inspired to do like a bronzy tropical look because I am dying to go on a vacation. If you read my blog, you know, you probably feel bad for me because you're probably like, somebody take this girl on vacay. She won't stop talking about it. But I really am just, ugh, I wanna go on a vacation so bad. I just wanna go to a beach and relax and have a nice cocktail maybe do some shopping i really want to travel to europe i'm so heartbroken that i have not been leave me your recommendation if you're like uh obviously if you're if you live in europe let me know your favorite spots but if you are like from the u.s or somewhere and you've traveled overseas to europe um to like different locations let me know your favorite place any tips for international travel if there's like language barriers or anything like that i'm really uneducated on the subject so i don't want to say too much just because i'm not very educated like i said but let me know what your favorite places to travel are overseas and where you want to go and any tips for travel like that because that's kind of like the inspiration for everything <laughs> because i'm desperate to travel the next eyeshadow color I have is Floof by MAC. And this is a beautiful shimmery highlight shade. I've gone through numerous ones of these. And I'm just taking it on my fluffy brush that I always use for highlighting. And I'm just gonna highlight my crease. This is definitely a bold highlight. I'm almost thinking next time I would not do shimmery highlight, I would do a matte highlight. But I really wanted to use some of these older products. So I'm thinking for the shimmery look, I would use a matte highlight, but since we're going shimmery, we might as well just go all out shimmery. <laughs> so this is obviously perfect enough. I feel like the Tom Ford cream shadow is basically the star of the show. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. So that is that. But if you wanted to add a little pop of color and a little more bronze look you can always pop a nice golden tone i'm not for sure straight off the bat what this color is i want to say it's honey pot it's been so many years since i've used it um so i'm just going to pick up on like a little flat shader brush some of the color and then i'm just going to pop it like on the center of my lid to give like a nice golden glow or golden shimmer, maybe you should say. This is really pretty. All right, now I'm just gonna pop a little under eye concealer. I've been using the word pop way too much. A little under eye concealer or whatever kind of concealer you wanna use under your eyes. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I love this because I can use it all over my face, just anywhere on blemishes under my eyes anywhere it looks really great now i'm just going to go in with a little mascara this is the dior dior show mascara i love this stuff at first 
it's been so while since it's been a while since I've used it. So at first I was like, eh, I don't know if I like this anymore. But I like it once it's been opened and it sits for a few days. So honestly, I would open this and like let it sit for a week or two. And that's when I really, really like to use it. So it gets a little clumpy and it's like, if this was a hair product, it would be like a mousse. So it's not like too liquidy and it's not too sticky, like dry. It's just like a nice texture. Kind of like a cream, like a cream mousse, like a man's hair gel. So I jumped straight into mascara and totally forgot to bring a little bit of the shadow under my eye. You don't have to do this, it looks great without it, but I think it helps tie everything together. So now I'm just gonna go in with the soft brown. That's really pretty under the eye. I love that, oh my goodness, okay. And I don't like to bring it too heavy in the inner corner just because I like to keep that area light and bright. I love that, oh my gosh, okay. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the gold shimmery color and I'm gonna go with that on the inner corner. I'm liking this, I'm really liking this, oh my goodness, okay. I hope the coloring and the lighting is good in this video, I hope it's not too white. Oh wow, yeah. you can kind of take that shimmery shade in that tear duct area. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows and I was going to use winged liner but I think I'm actually just going to do a little shadow and I'm going to use the shade Hustle from the Naked palette. So this is just like a shimmery brown color. I'm just gonna kind of follow my lash line and put a little bit of that color right on my lash line. So this will be a little bit more natural and it'll just look like you have really thick lashes and there's no dramatic wing. Just a really pretty smoked out eyeliner. Look at this. So you can see it's just like kind of thick. It makes your lashes just look a bunch thicker, but you don't have like a harsh line or anything. So I like, I like doing this when I have more dramatic shadow or like more shadow on. If I'm doing like a really natural look, I like to do winged liner, but for kind of a more eyeshadowy look just like to kind of apply a little eyeshadow on my lash line and make things look like my eyeliner is, or like my lashes, just a lot thicker. So for bronzer, I'm just using the NARS Laguna, which I have been using the mirror on, and I just have kind of like a tapered brush. I like to use a big angled brush too, but um, I'm gonna just try to do a little bit more of a contour. This is totally washing me out, but there is quite a bit of color. I also like to contour and bronze up around my hairline on either side of my face. And this kind of just gives a slimming appearance. And if you want, you can kind of do the side of your nose. I would use a smaller brush, but for right now, just to put a little bronzer on the side, get a little slimming effect. For highlight, another one of my favorite parts about this tutorial, this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. This is beautiful. I feel like this was all the rage like a few years ago and now it's kind of like fallen off the map, but it seriously is incredible. So, just gonna take that on the tops of my cheekbones, my forehead, down my nose, on my chin, there we go. 
so pretty. I love it. I don't know if the camera is picking up just how shimmery it is or not. It's so beautiful. Now for my lips, I'm gonna take the YSL lip liner in the shade 17, and this is just kind of like a natural color. I can swatch it. Kind of like a neutral, pinky, orangey kind of color. And I'm just gonna line around my lips. Of course, my camera is always dying. Ooh, brush hairs. So I have kind of a rough edge. For my lipstick, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite shades, which is Tom Ford Nude Vanilla. This is just a great nude that has, it has a little pinky, peachy look to it. You can see it right here. So I'm just gonna pop that on. Mm -hmm. It just gives it a nice, fun little peach pop for a tropical look because we're still dreaming of vacation here. Um, and then I'm gonna use my little MAC uh, lip gloss. It is Cream Sheen Gloss and it's in the shade Boy Bait. This was also one of my favorites of all time. You can tell I've used it. Ooh. So it's a very like pinky color. It's like a, it would go perfect with the lipstick had I not used it over top of a darker pink. And that is the final look. So here's a quick look at the eyes. They're very bronzy and natural and the lips are like a pink peach. It was supposed to be more peach, but they're a bit more pink now that the lip gloss gave a nice kind of stained pink color. So that is the completed look. I hope that this look inspired you to try something new. For me, it was just about using some of my old favorites and trying something bronzy, a little bit darker than what I wear every day, but still something very natural. Um, I'm still dreaming of the vacation, guys. We're still on it. Um, so if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Let me know, like I said, any of your travel tips down below, any recommendations that you have. I think I'm going to do an order from Nordstrom, so any of your spring beauty that you want me to review or share, let me know in the comments down below something that you have been wanting to try and maybe I'll pick it up. And yeah, so I'm really excited. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Very, very chatty per usual, but I hope that it was fun and just something different and that you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know so that way I can do more of these and I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.